Welcome to the channel. I've been keeping my eye out for great value timepieces and I think I've found a real gem from Bulliver. This was found inside another independent jeweller and the story behind this watch doesn't disappoint and proves again why Bulliver have an unrivaled history. This is from the 2014 Bulliver Accutron 2 series and is referenced 96B206. This is called the Moonview and is the re-edition of Bulliver's famous CIA approved and used in action Accutron astronaut timepiece. The original Accutron astronaut had originally been created for retail use. The tuning fork movement contained fewer parts than the traditional mechanical and quartz movements available in competitor watches, making this more robust and accurate under stress, leading to the adoption of Accutron movements as cockpit instrument panel timers for manned spaceflight. They were used throughout the Gemini and Apollo programs, and it also made them highly suitable for use in the cockpit of the A-12. The Lockheed A-12 was a high altitude Mach 3 plus reconnaissance aircraft. It was built for the United States CIA and NASA. A testimony from Lieutenant Colonel Frank Murray of the United States Air Force written to Bulliver captures just how impressive the original Bulliver Accutron astronaut really was. He wrote to Bulliver and I'll read from the letter. Gentlemen, my name is Frank Murray and I live in Gardnerville, which is a small town in the northwest part of Nevada. Over the last 40 years, I've owned a number of Bulliver watches. I have a thing to tell you, sort of a testimonial about the class of Bulliver watches. I bet you do not know anything about how and why the CIA used a certain Bulliver watch in the early days of developing the Lockheed A-12 Blackbird. I think the people that work at Bulliver would like to know what I have to relate. The A-12 airplane first flew in April 1962. Several years of development testing took place before the aeroplane flew its reconnaissance role in the Far East. This aeroplane operates at speeds well above Mach 3. That's 2,100 miles per hour at altitudes of up to 90,000 feet. The environmental conditions inside the cockpit saw temperatures as high as 140 degrees at the end of crew's legs when the fuel remaining was insufficient to provide the needed heat sink for the air conditioning system. Ordinary wristwatches worn by the pilots on the outside of their pressure suits were not holding up to these temperatures. A decision was made to try a unique type of watch in this setting. The Bulliver Accutron astronaut model held up to testing, so the CIA decided to furnish the Bulliver watch to the CIA pilots flying the A-12. The CIA provided each pilot with a new Bulliver astronaut watch. These watches became the property of the pilots and they stayed with the pilots when the program ended in mid-1968. I still have my issued watch and it runs fine after all these years. It was serviced one time by Bulliver Factory and after that by a private watch service people. I have enclosed a little brochure that briefly describes the ox cart program at Area 51 and some of the highlights of the operational phase codenamed Operation Black Shield, flying reconnaissance missions out of Kadena, Okinawa. I was on that project from 1963 to 1968 when it folded. I've also enclosed a picture of my astronaut SN G828590. Excuse the Hong Kong made band. Yours sincerely, Frank Murray, Lieutenant Colonel of the United States Air Force, retired. I mean, wow, how cool is that? And following on from this, um, the United States used Accutron movements in satellites and also issued the astronaut Accutron watch to all of the X-15 pilots. The North American X-15 was a hypersonic rocket-powered aircraft. It was operated by the United States Air Force and NASA as part of the X-Plane series of experimental aircraft. The X-15 set speed and altitude records in the 1960s, reaching the outer edge of space and returning with valuable data used in aircraft and spacecraft design. The X-15's highest speed was 4,520 miles per hour. This was achieved in October 1967. This set official world record for the highest speed ever recorded by a crewed powered aircraft. It remains unbroken. The original Accutron astronaut watches featured a 24-hour GMT hand 
and a rotating bezel, making the watch able to adjust to any time zone. The Accutron astronaut used Bulliver's 214 movement, and the astronaut has no conventional crown, and it's set using a recessed key set into the back of the watch, adjacent to the battery door. I'll leave a link in the description to a great Hadinki article where I found some of this information. This 2014 re-edition is very similar to the original in design, with of course some key differences. Bulliver always used surgical grade stainless steel, and that's what we're looking at here. It's a 42mm case and has a domed mineral crystal glass. The crown is hidden underneath the overlapping coin edge bezel, paying respect to the original vintage astronaut design. The grey dial is wonderful and actually quite a modern watch dial colour, even though this timepiece is from roughly 2014. Bulliver and Accutron are printed in black on the dial and the hands and applied markers are luminous. And the counterbalance of the second hand has the tuning fork logo, showing incredible attention to detail. A frame date window sits at 6 o'clock. The bezel is fixed and the hours and half hour points are represented here. Personally, I'm not a fan of mesh bracelets, but to Bulliver's credit, this one is well constructed with a push button deployment clasp with the Bulliver logo and it is solid. I would remove um, this to be fair for a black leather or rubber strap just to tone it all down a little bit. Arguably the most impressive part of this watch um, is the movement inside. It's Bulliver's ultra accurate battery movement. This movement was created in 2010 and the traditional quartz crystal tuning fork is replaced with a three prong crystal, meaning it can oscillate at eight times the speed. So that's a frequency of 262,144 Hertz, making this watch accurate to just seconds per year. I found this for 150 pounds and I know this used to retail for a lot higher. So get out there, see what bargains you can find. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's more content on the way soon.